Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yusuf. Welcome, welcome to the Age of Discovery. Star Trek Online has in launched its latest, I suppose, season used to be the old term for it. Perhaps not so appropriate these days. Mini expansion, content patch, call it what you will. We have a new character type, the Discovery Starfleet. So, shiny new cadet uniforms as well as the standard content stuff. Right, so what we're basically going to be doing from here is picking up a new character, going from there and seeing how well it gets you back into the swing of things if you are a returning player like me who's not really been paying much attention to the game for a while. Yeah, this should be interesting. Anyhow, usual selections, so genders standard. Interesting, of course, because this is from an earlier era. You have got humans, Vulcans, and alien available to you. Interesting that you don't have the Andorians or the Tellarites, who were, I believe, Federation members at this point. In fact, there's a better case, you could argue, for Vulcans not being available, because Spock was the only Vulcan in Starfleet at this point. Evening Tactro, Evening Ranger, good to see both of you. So that is interesting. However, human, Vulcan, or custom job for yourselves. Well, we'll go with a Vulcan. And like all good Vulcans, let's go hmm, science or tactical. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Also, let's pop up the class info. All the various stuff. Interesting that there's this... Well, I suppose you do need it for the character, really. Just to have a look at his appearance. Yep, discovery uniform, standard issue. Cadet badge, by the way, of course. So, let's grab... Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Vulcan Tactical. Hadn't done one of those in a while, so check appearance. All the standard stuff. Starfleet 2250's uniform. Discover what's out there. Only option you get because, well, the other uniforms haven't been invented yet. Uh, yeah. Ah, who knows? Maybe there's a few little tweaks. I mean, Spock might have been the first Vulcan in Starfleet, but it doesn't mean there weren't others fairly shortly after him. However, once we've got that, we'll just toddle along. We'll just randomise up a name. Moloch. That will do. And the USS Kubano. Come on, Cryptic. I'm sorry, come on, Wargaming. That's a hint. We want the Kubano. <laughs> Uh, tier 8 Japanese light cruiser premium one or aviation cruiser with the carrier rework coming. How much of the new series have I seen? None of it, Electrum. None of it. Right. Let's just get go. Ooh, new loading screen. Very nice. Also, it's kind of uh, patching on the fly. Yeah. Okay. I still can't believe how much things have changed. We hadn't heard from the Klingons for years. And then we did. And now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got here. It was the same for you, right? We came to Starfleet Academy to become explorers. Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard Extras. on the ground and in space. We learned how things worked on a starship. And we learned how to work as a team. We've been getting ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. Hmm. And today's your big day. Today you graduate and begin your career as a Starfleet officer. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day and we will soon be embarking on the training cruise. Yay, because nothing ever went wrong on a training cruise. Okay. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk. Okay. Tilly, hey! Hey, there you are! Are you excited? I am very excited. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training cruise. Okay. Right, so that we will. I am assuming you know your assignment. Are you kidding? 
I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words, Chief Engineer. Congratulations, and if we're very lucky, the ship won't explode three minutes out of space dock. I mean, right. sorry, that's quite an honor. I'm still not sure if this isn't one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like this, you know. Ugh, poor Jim Kirk. <laughs> oh, uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. Yes. A nice callback, by the way, of course, to Finnegan, who was a character in the first series of the original series. Um, of course, the timing is right. Kirk on, would be a way. cadet. Oh, all right, all right, Tilly. No need to get silly about these things. Lifeson, hi. Lifeson, one of the best tactical cadets in your class. Oh, uh, no, after Evelyn. And yourself, of course. Um, I wonder if that would change if I hadn't taken tactical. Lifeson. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Don't worry. Got your assignment <clears throat> yet? No, no, I uh, did not set up a triple layer alarm to warn me. I didn't even bother setting the alarm clock, actually. Uh, well, Lieutenant Tassilne has all of the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. He's got good news and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Well, that's what uh, Facebook 2250 is for. All right. Oh, the oh, wait, no, sorry. Oh, there he is. All right. Quan. Cadets Quan and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which, I've heard, is almost up to Tamav's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. Indeed. Oh, hey. I have been looking for you. Ah, Marston said you had good news. Yes. I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it. Well, I'm sure you were suitably cunning when you did it. Glad that works out for you. <laughs> you and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. You saw that I wasn't at my best that day, told me to give it another shot. So, I did. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Ah, double qualified in Technobabble. Wonderful. I mean, sorry, that's impressive. Congratulations. Thanks. Always good to have options, right? Kiro took your advice, too. I think it worked out for him, since he's slightly less scowly than usual. Uh, let me know if I'm right, okay? Uh, okay, well, I'll I go and talk to him. Over there. Come on. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Is she this energetic in the show? I, I would imagine they have well. No sense in breaking what works, after all. And here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius, and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. That's good to hear. I'm so glad you accepted the reminder that Porthos was a beagle and not a razor-toothed Targelian jellyfish. In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position based on my current statistical models. Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the map. Right, so assuming it's not going to be the 21.6% chance that I'm going to be left on the ground, in which case this would be the shortest tutorial ever. Right. Ah, Tassil. There we go. And yes, yes, yes. Thank you, computer. And hello, Joseph Dillon. And oh, Tilly, just in case you can't read a map. Tassil should be inside. Because that is advanced science training after all. You've got Tilly leading you to the objective. Ah, Lieutenant. Good afternoon, Cadet. How may I be of assistance? Uh, you can tell me which way the dice rolled? It is. I will access your assignment data now. Oh, thanks for the host, Joseph. Hmm, fascinating. Uh, 
just how badly oh your dear. assignment is not listed inquiries on the matter had been directed to captain shaker himself i knew i shouldn't have said that thing about the beagle that remains to be seen i suggest you report to captain shaker and ask him personally he is in the office behind me ah thank you and so far this is pretty much a rerun of the tutorial which fair enough nothing wrong with it And, uh... Hello, Captain. I believe um, you're due to die by the end of this episode. Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training cruise. Hmm. I'm cleaning out the bulkheads, aren't I, sir? Ah, uh, well, you can relax. <laughs> I'm happy to report that you won't be my new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. Ah, thank you, Captains. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Your academic record is impressive, but I don't see your results for the Advanced Phaser Training Program. Get to shed some light on that for me? Well, I can shoot straight already. The Federation is at war with the Klingon Empire, Cadet. I shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. That in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you on my bridge, once you finish that phaser course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing your results. Ah, right. Uh, who were those cadets? Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior, but her professors assure me that she's up to the task. Hmm. Well, Tilly won't have programmed anything nasty into the simulation, but I don't know about Severe. Indeed. She'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, Cadet. Dismissed. Yes, sir. I'm going to be swilling out the bilges by the end of this one. And that should really have closed. Yank. And should that... And that. Tilly, so what hell have you created for me? I still can't believe I got the chief engineer spot. Yes, it's just for the cadet training cruise, but still, how many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Whew, deep breath. I'm good. Woo! <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? Senior bilge officer, and since the rats are getting out of hand, I need to pass phaser training. Yeah? I was wondering why he wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively. With the Klingons and aggression, then... I should probably stop telling you about the program now. Ah, right. Okay, only oh, mildly no, nervous. don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Savea's waiting over at the simulator. You know how cranky she gets when people are late. I couldn't possibly say. Need Finnegan the actually yeah. graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. I think it's more to do with the 20 terracords of blackmail material he'd accumulated on the senior staff, but there you go. So, let me see. If this is Finnegan's graduation year, was he the year above Kirk or the year below? No one was assigned to a constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. Boo. How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. Ah, well, I'm sure he'll figure out how to cheat on the, uh, 13th attempt. We better hurry or we'll lose our spot. Oh, I hate running. Now we know why she graduated engineering uh -oh. and not tactical. There's Ev, and she's looking impatient. Ah, so there. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> don't worry, he's just... Look, just don't open any emails he sends you, okay? Uh, I'll need a phaser. Yeah, those are pretty useful in phaser training, huh? Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You get top marks. Kidding. I'm kidding. The phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. Well, I suppose I could throw the tricord at the enemy. That does constitute a uh, stun setting, doesn't it? Uh, running is the worst. Ensign, sorry, Cadet, how the 
hell did you get through your physicals? Also, oh, new scan. Oh, can we have this on regular characters, please? That's not bad at all. All right, all right. Wait up, Tilly. This is why you jog instead of sprinting. Ah, armory. Very unlocked armory. And, ooh, all these nice shiny pistols just waiting to be grabbed. Yink. Has been automatically equipped. Handy that. Right. Now where? Uh, unless there is no objective, in which case, yeah, here we are. Holodeck 2. Right. Just go to the center of the room. Okay, I'm in the center of the room. Begins the program. Okay, um. In combat, right click on a target to fire your weapon. Ah. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. This doesn't really change, does it? Once ah. you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Apparently, I punched that Klingon so hard he disintegrated. End simulation. You can holster and draw your weapon with the H key. Ah, probably shouldn't point a weapon at Captain Schaefer. So, um, how did that go? Nice work, Cadet. A few points below Severe's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. Alright, okay. Do so, am I pumping the bilges? That I do, Cadet. First officer station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. The bilge officer spot is still open. First officer or bilge officer? Hmm, my choice of dirty work. And yes, she is surely clapping. And not imitating a rather fixated seal. Thought you might say that. You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue, onward and upward, throughout your career. Thank you. Or it's going to end very, very abruptly because we all know what happens to first officers on away missions. Likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then. And congratulations. Thank you. Wow, look at you, first officer. You're going to do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer spot was pretty funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Yes, anyway, we do. First officer. How does it feel? Um, surprised. Oh, wait, Savea's just here listening. You know, I love her, but Savea's a little too, um, aggressive at times. If all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I mean, that's her. She's very much a hammer kind of lady. I'm not saying she can't find her way to the center chair, but. But it's going to look like a nail when she gets there. Standing right here, Tilly. Yeah. Might think about that if you want to make it to senior year. What? I'm kidding. Mostly. Okay. Oh, missed a couple of lines. She's not wrong, though. Seriously, Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> well, we should get going yeah. to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? Okay, uh, wait, me? Oh, balls. Actually, good point. Tilly, could you just stand... Oh, wait, no, this is Tilly, isn't it? Now Tilly... This. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Tilly does not stand still, does she? Because what I'm trying to get a look at is her insignia. Let's drop out of shooter mode for a second. Because I'm pretty sure that my insignia... Yeah, there we go. Four bars, so fourth year cadet. I'm pretty sure Tilly's will only have three. Yeah, nice detailed touch there. And she's got the engineering insignia, whereas I've got tactical. Good job on the details there, Cryptic. Yay! Yeah. Right, into the turbo left and to the shuttle bay. All of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. I know Vulcans don't get nervous, but the rest of us do, and this is our first real assignment, so, uh, how are you going to play it? Inspirational? Heartwarming? No, no, um, just try not to be too logical, okay? It's a, it's a toast, not a debate. 
Hmm. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure. You'll do great. Of course. Absolutely, positively, no pressure at all whatsoever. How could there be any pressure at all? This is just a toast in front of the senior staff. Right. Okay, let's just get through this as fast as we can. Speech is always embarrassing. Uh, do, 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 Galvanize the cadets. Interesting, I'm not getting other options. Raise a glass. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think I did, Ranger, but I'll check the store later. Right, to the shuttle. And, you know, for someone who claims to hate running, Tilly really doesn't hang about, does she? Hmm. Right. Are you ready to head to the ship? Yep. Let's blow this taco stand. I like the new shuttle design. Uh, Ranger, it is. Literally, Tilly's dialogue changes as well. Doing this. Oh, there she is. Ooh, 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 look over there. That's well. the Glen. One of the new Crossfield class ships. No one really knows much about her, or her capabilities. Well, at Starfleet Academy, anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. You have now, no idea. Our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class, Captain Schaefer's pride and joy. Good speed for her class, definitely maneuverable. A stout, solid, battle-proven design, for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. Let's land and find out. Woo! All we know is, she's ugly. Yes. Okay. Uh, Tilly, yep. Yeah. Okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first, then head to our stations. Oh man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. My engine room. Yeah! Yeah, she's enthusiastic. Let's have a look at the rest of this place, though. Discovery-style force field. Sophia oh, it's... Tilly. Acting Chief Engineer, reporting for duty. I can hear you across the hangar, Tilly. Oh, trust me, I can sink a starship. Uh, right, armies on every deck, but off limits to the cadets. Hmm, that's going to come in handy, isn't it? Right, I suppose I'd better get over here. Ah, oh, what, no holodecks? Ah... Uh, Welcome aboard. What's your name, cadet? Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Acting first officer. You're all set. Okay. Where's Report Captain? to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Cool. To the bridge, then. Okay, orderly line. Uh, that's... He said orderly line. Get on with it. Uh, he'll never get past Ensign. Turbo lift. Um, ooh. Uh, okay, right. Haven't quite got the full interior yet. This is just the shuttle bay map. Seen the boots? Yes, I know. They uh, appear to have slapped Starfleet insignia on anything. If I've got a gripe about the uniform, that's it. Um, they went a bit overboard with the insignia. Okay, and the bridge. Okay. No lens flare. Nice callback to the Abrams design with the uh, window stroke view screen. And everything else appears to be in good order. Right, Captain. Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XR. Uh, thank you, Captain. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, Close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. Okay. Push Dock button. Control has cleared us to depart. Acknowledged. Carry on. And tariff. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Acknowledged. Carry on. And I'd better push the button on the tractor moorings myself. Where's my console? Wait, 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 wait. Can't Lee do it? I mean, it, it, we're, be we're not even out of dock and I'm leaning over this poor guy's shoulder. He's going to be traumatized. There we go. Moorings are cleared. We are free and clear to depart. Erez, take us out. One quarter impulse. 
Uh, I was wondering if they'd keep this joke. Duly noted, Exo. Erez, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Yeah. <laughs> and we are not moving. Oh, right. I need to be over here. Details. <laughs> Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Wait, Acknowledge we just got clearance. Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp four. Nice. Course laid in, sir. Nice gentle cruise. Engage. What? We're not even out of the dock yet. What happened to? <laughs> okay, I think he might have been annoyed by that quip about the thrusters. Captain, I'm picking up a distress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. It's All a trap! Up, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. We're being jammed. Red alert, shields up. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. What? There are four words you need to say here. Red alert, shields up. Also, your chair just temporarily well, disappeared. Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? Mm, is this a test? Does it matter? Afraid not. This is the real deal. First Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. Okay, strange the transmission was audio only. Usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? Red alert. Interesting approach, but I don't think a full tactical alert is appropriate here. Fortuna's a freighter, not a Klingon ship of the line. It's not the Fortuna I'm worried about. It's the Klingon ship of the line that is right behind her, under cloak, waiting for us to bimble up to her. I agree. Surveyor, raise the shields. As for you, XO, I want you down in the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Okay, continue. Right, to the transporter room. Not gonna see that. Oh, that is interesting. Um, You know, I'm getting the impression that jumping might be forbidden on this bridge. Yeesh. Turbo lift, there we go. Transporters. Yink. Hello, Boulevard. Uh, Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid block. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. They're Klingons. Klingons! <sighs> Next time, check your life signs before you beam them over. Also, who put a transporter pad behind the... Uh... Jasmine? Come in! What happened? That's the most sedate boarding party I've ever Already seen. Hold on, the fire in the transporter room. And Klingons are beaming in on multiple decks. All hands, this is the captain. Repel borders. I repeat, repel borders. Oh. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. Cool. And the enemy ship. You let us worry about that. Right now, I need you doing what you can to get those Klingons off my ship. Bet you're glad you took that phaser course now, huh? Shoot straight and stay safe down there. Yeah. Right, let's get to it. Here, Exo. We need you to unlock the armory. Uh, nice that they're using a mix of accents. Even if I you think... You enter the command code. Yes, thank you. I know what I'm doing. Even if his accent was thicker than borscht. Right, one Not armory. Rifle. We need to deal with the Klingons. Oh, rifle. Aha. Yank. Okay, and also... You need to equip your phaser rifle. To do so, press yes, the menu you, button computer. and select the captain option under the ship and crew heading. Uh, yank. And yes, I'm aware of your trip. Why would I want to trade a sniper rifle? Okay, not sure why those things are bind on equip, honestly, but there you go. Right. Let us rock and or roll. And yet this is literally the same yeah. scenario. Andre! 
dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. Ah, aren't they? Oh, uh, right. Well, at least they're tidy Klingons. Hmm. When did I get full auto on this thing? Yep. Yeah. And... Note stuff, the emergency force fields need to be quicker. Also, that is a very un-Vulcan look of surprise on his face. Hey, right. I'm reading a hole breach near the transporter room. Yeah, yeah, you don't say, oh, Tilly. Good. You're on the right side of the safety field. You can huh. use this to quickly heal any damage you may have suffered. Oh, thank you. Right, now then. Right. You can do extra damage to enemies by flanking them. Try attacking your enemies on their sides or behind them. Yep, that works. Right, room clear. And... Oh, right, I see. So they've got two separate transporter stations. That's... Illogical. Although, when you consider how bulky the transporter apparatus is, that's... It's a nice touch, and you can see even between Discovery and... Uh, just to switch out this was said. In between Discovery and TOS, you can see that they've deliberately made the tech a bit cruder. So you've got these huge transport rays rather than the modern, well, relatively modern ones that uh, TOS had, which meant you could put all the pads in one spot and therefore get more people out at a time. Anyhow. Right, so yank. Hey, Deadmund. I think they were going to engineering, but hurry. There's a lot of them. Great. Out the other door then, round past the hull breach. Security to engineering. We are under attack. Yeah, don't say Tilly, excuse me. One. Two. Alright. Two engineering. Although I need to come out of combat first. We're reading Klingon boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. I'm on my way. Now, have they taken out this extra pack? Yes, they have. Because there used to be a pack that beamed in here. You could use the console to cause some environmental damage to vent, basically get rid of them. So they've taken that away. Oh, more Klingons. Lead the way, XO. We've got your back. Thank you. Press C to crouch. Crouching is a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Nice of them to explain that. Press X to aim your weapon. Aiming your weapon gives a bonus to damage. And the Klingons are dead. Right. Breach the door. Which is a. Uh, ah! Engineering, right. Okay. Um. Cadet Tuck. Move, move, move! Yes, yeah, thank you. Also. Oh, am I glad to see you. Yeah, can we leave the uh, happy reunion until later? Right. And the Klingons are just about gone. Woo! Right, we are secure. Nope, there's a couple out there. Are you not done yet? Thank you. Tilly? You have no idea how happy I am to see you. You just said that. I'm looking for something in here. Can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Life Especially support. Since the ship's a complete mess, thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help since you're here. Hmm. They're a distinct improvement on the old ones. Uh, so, uh, Tilly, what do we need in order to fix this? As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you could do in here? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
The power relays for our weapons were overloaded. I need you to bring them back online. The power relays. Okay, consider it done. Right. Ah, oh, sorry. Boost power to our phasers by staring contemplatively at okay. the screen. Okay, workhorse stable. Life support is optimal. Yes. Good. So we're not going to explode, and we're not going to suffocate. Perfect. Boost power to the forward phasers. Can we shoot them? Safety fields engaged. Shipwide comms online. Yay! We can talk to each other as well. And um, boost power to the torpedo warheads. Glad you're still with us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Okay, to the bridge then. We'll cover this deck. That's good. Um, try not to get uh, shot again. It'd be annoying to have to come back down here. Right, the bridge. Oh, I have a choice of turbo lifts. Let's go this way. Since we haven't been this way already. How's it going? Um, not well by the looks of it. Okay. I Again, Tuscan, I think that's deliberate. Sir, we fly shields! What? Well, I just fixed them. Oh, right. Bugger? Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Jaula of House Mokai. Surrender now, Captain. Why are you still able? Request denied. Get off my ship. <laughs> Crunch. Get off my ship. If you insist, Captain. John do. Okay, she gets some nice lines and... Oh, uh, right. Uh... Klingons, hi. Oh, we appear to have lost audio. Secure the bridge. Repel borders. Yes, 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 yes. Oi, oi. Go. Oh, they've got one-handed knives. Interesting. Also, why were you guys not shooting the moment they beamed in? The Klingons are gone. So is the captain. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'll try to find the Klingon ship. You do that. Oh, that was intense. Klingons. We just fought Klingons. Two things, Cadet. One, we are still fighting them. Two, I fought them. You were squirming on the deck and bleeding. Uh, uh, thought I was done for. Thanks. You're welcome. Kiro, come on, me, that brain of yours up and running. Your medical assistance was adequate and necessary. I thank you. Where's Num? Oh, there he is. Oops. Quam. Come on, mate. Up your gear. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. I owe you one. Yeah, one of these days I might even collect. What, what happened here? Klingons. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. Wait, is that a TNG tricorder? Do I have your attention, Starfleet? Oh. Uh, Captain, are you alright? Silence! Surrender your ship and all classified data within it to me. Immediately! Oh, they were after the computer core. That's why they hit engineering. I think the answer is no. Safer, order your crew to do as I say. XO. Follow my orders to the letter. Uh-huh. Fire on my position. Spoken like a Klingon, Captain. Now die like one. Hmm. Yes, constantly surprised Vulcan. Y you think they changed the animations for that? 
we follow orders. And they really should have added in some voice acting for the player character. Oh. What John you do? It's your head. What the luck? Look. Ah, but no. What the jam? Yeah, that's what you get for bad power design. Mech, shot with the two, it's a teacher. Hmm. Yes, there, there are a lot of callbacks here. Right, so. So there, um, I think I'm officially in command at this point. We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. And again, they lose the last line. Right. Take the chair. Oop. Hang on. Press. Ah, there you go. Right. I have the chair. Woo! Woo! 